Residents in Clearfield and Ogden are used to the sights and sounds of fighter jets. Up there, they call it the sound of freedom. Oh. But the roar was louder today. Yeah, no mistaking that sound. Hill Air Force Base showed off the power of the world's first combat ready F 35A fighter wing. Fox 13's Max Roth shows us. Hill Air Force Base is home to the first and for now only combat ready F 35A units in the Air Force. So the demonstration Hill just put on is something that's never happened before and could only happen here. Like the bird of prey it is, the F 35A is handsome on the ground, but it's out of its element, slow and vulnerable. Which is why this exercise might inspire fear. Each of these gangly birds becomes an airborne terror in the time it takes to say, ready, set, go. Start the timer at launch number one, stop it at launch 51. In 14 minutes, the skies are full. Our entire ramp was full of aircraft, and we just emptied it out. Put in perspective, those 51 fighters above Utah at one time, there's no other entire country that has even built close to that many advanced so-called fifth-generation fighters. It's $4 billion of machinery, supported by 1,900 active-duty personnel and 1,200 reservists. The message is not just to uh, potential adversaries, but it's also to our nation's leadership that they can count on the 388 fighter wing to support the combat power that they plan and require us to provide. That sound was a 52nd fighter launching after a maintenance delay. To see him take off and to hear the sound of freedom every day is, uh, is truly a blessing. The 388th Fighter Wing planned this exercise a long time ago as a kind of celebration after getting their 78th F-35A in December. A little over four years ago, we received our first F-35. We now have our full complement of aircraft. They flew 52 of their 78 fighters today because the 34th Fighter Squadron, a part of the 388th, deployed to Al Dafra Air Base in the United Arab Emirates in October. In the newsroom, Max Roth, Fox 13 News, Utah.